start with the awesome players logo. Okay, hold on. Then we'll go right to the interview, so get ready. Now, Henrik, you think it's time for a tire change? Yeah, yeah, slowly. <laughs> that still had a couple of meters left on it. You say? Fuck, man. Let's do it next weekend. <laughs> Sweet. Now that is good value. Aren't those the tire, the thread wear indicators? <laughs> those are the threads. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this front tire looks new. That is because my, uh, that is because my... You're not changing this, are you? I should leave that, you say. Yeah, where's the... Look, it's primo. Okay. Don't change that, man. It's still got... You could probably make it home on that. <laughs> No, that's got lots left, man. Yeah, you think so? That's got like thousands left. But the rear is done. Man. The rear is officially done. What's this guy's name? He's Rupert, the spirit guide. How's Rupert? Rupert's looking a little flaccid here. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rupert needs some Viagra. <laughs> yeah, but if you consider that his appendage is about 95% of his body, I mean in length. He could have a career in the movie industry. <laughs> He's a well-endowed spirit guide. Nice technique, Bill. Need a key. The key is the key. Where the key? It's a good question. Where the key, Bill? It's probably in its place. In your pocket? In my sleeve pocket. Let's find out if regimented army methods work. Where did you get that sweater, Bill? Yes, they do. This? From the Salian. Why? Nice. <laughs> I love it. It's warm. It also gives me that air of... Uh, Greek fisherman? You know, je ne sais quoi. More je ne veux pas. <laughs> What metrics, huh? No, but it's uh, it's the same size. What is it supposed to be in metric? It is not the original, and the reason for that is yeah. because the original bolt is the crown shape. What do you call those? You know, it's machined yeah. out. And for you... a cotter pin? Yeah. Well, this one does not need a cotter pin, which I like very much. Ooh, interesting. Have you seen my breaker bar? It's a little longer, your breaker <laughs> that bar? That I brought, bought in the uh, tractor store. It's about four feet long. <laughs> it's this, <it's> <laughs> this is a man's breaker bar, Bill. 17 bucks, can't tire. <laughs> Actually, I may buy one of these because if we go on a trip... You don't need that. Sure you do. No, just bring the socket. You can beat the coyote and what? With your teeth or no, how are you? No, then you just drive to the nearest can tire and buy one. Sweet. No, 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 don't do that. All right, pull that thing out, Bill. <laughs> Gently. <laughs> Pull the shaft. Do you have a piece of paper or something? Because this thing is filthy. <clears throat> Alright, pull that puppy out. Nice. As you can see, it's well lubed. Your shaft is nicely greased. Do you give bonus points for that? <laughs> nice lube. Yeah, it is lubed. Very nicely lubed. Keep forgetting that on a road bike you can actually have lube on the chain. It's not just a dirt magnet. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now, see, these ones are the spacers. So this is your custom spacer. Yeah. Okay, so you add that on one side. Yeah. Yeah. And the other side is it's been smaller. machined. Yeah. By the way, I like the video. Which one? <laughs> the one about uh, movies. 
boobies. Oh yes, that was that one. That was good. Eh? So let's examine. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you love your country, <laughs> Henrik. Yes. Are you sure this tire is ready to be changed? No, I'm not so sure. <laughs> those cords aren't even. Those cords aren't even loose. Oh, pussy. I have a black marker. <laughs> <laughs> we could resell it. <laughs> <laughs> we get that up on the flea market. And this is the other spacer. So this is your custom shortened spacer. Yeah, yeah, and these are the monkey nottage. Can I leave that in or pick them out? You leave them in. If they fall out, they fall out. Nice. As you can see, there's the new bearing. Ooh, nice. Oh, touch it, dude. That is nice. Very nice. Uh, and what about the other side? Let's check. Hey, you got your disc brake on my driveway. Could leave a disc brake mark on my driveway. Yeah. Eh? Check the other side. Beauty. I think these are good. Ew. Ew. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. These good. 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 Double good. Okay, we are recording. We are rolling. So let us see. We're gonna take the valve stem out. Are you on that? I am close. Riley's taking the valve stem out. You can hear air escaping. This is a good time to fart. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> Those are the monkey nuts. <laughs> right. All right, let's break the bead. Let's, let's. Okay. Good. Give her. Not broken yet. Push. Is it broken? I doubt it. No. Holy crap! This is what you wanna do on a roadside, right? Okay, hold on. You yeah. videotape. Okay, good. That is broken. That bead is broken, Bill. So the tire is on the stand. We had some minor difficulties okay, adjusting nice those. Get a shot up of those teeth holding the rim there. Those those teeth. Hang on. Let's try it. Little round things that have to go on the edge of the rim. Uh, those are pretty difficult to get on. Look at the man. <gasps> He's putting lube around the edge of the tire and farting at the same time. <sighs> the shit yeah. is noxious. No problem. I'm going to push, push this down into the center rim. Okay. There, that'll keep that down. Ugh. Lube the tip. So now he's going to insert the loop tip. And I know it sounds cheap, but. And then you gotta pull it up. Uh huh. Are you here? Mm hmm. Pull it up. Oops. In, turn it. Uh. See, and it oh. comes over. And now he's going to. Pull it around. And the tire comes off. Like butter. Easy like that. Very good job, Riley. Looks like this was not the first time you've done this. Third. Hmm. Now, get the tire up into the channel. Want me to hop or you just want me to do this? That's good. I didn't put any lube on this side, so it's not going to slide as well, but it should still come off pretty easy. Oops. Done! And it's off. Anybody wants the tire? Cheap. Dynabead! <laughs> yes. Hey, let's take a look at that. 
Okay, so, hang on a minute. Here you can see where the Dyna beads have been running. Pointed out for There's the viewers. a little... Oh yeah, a little Barely channel. no abrasion. And that's almost 20,000 kilometers, so... I don't think the Dyna beads are hurting anything. Mm hmm Guess not. Okay. Okay, we need the new tie It's nicely lubed now. Listen, do, do you have any idea why my front tire would wobble? Could it be because of the... Uh... It's a horn fun, probably. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, let's get the new tire out, Bill. Alright. Now, we see the new tire here being mounted. Let's zoom in on that. It is very new. It has a red circle around it. It is festive and it has no cord showing. Okay, direction of rotation. Very important. We know that the left side of the rim is facing upward. Therefore, we know... Riley, please demonstrate the direction of rotation. Alright, we know the wheel. This is the sprocket side. The sprocket side would be on the left side of the bike. So the tire is turning this way when exactly. the bike is rolling down the road and our little arrow is pointing the right way because there's nothing worse than putting the tire on and then you got to take it off and put it on right. No, we don't want that. Now sometimes you can just force it on like that without any problem. And I'll get this part on a little bit. Oops, hold on. Lube. Lube is the key just like in many other areas of life. So now, the only the part I want to lube is the underside. Oh. Because that's the part that has to slip over the rim. In other words, you want to lube it under the rim. Under the bead. Under the bead. Now I'll get this on as much as I can. Okay. And then, where is my third hand? And there's the third hand. Mm. So Riley, are you happy with this tire mounting uh, machine? Yep, this is the Cycle Hill Tire Changer. It works pretty well. Okay, now we need our big bar. Would you recommend this, yeah, this is for made other by, enthusiasts? This is made by Nomar. Okay. And this is their cheap model. And that we just witnessed the act of lubing. Lubing the tip. Actually, sorry, that's, no, don't show that. That's the wrong end. This is the unmount end. Okay. And this is the mount end. And now that needs so to now be. Now we've got to lube the mount end. This is the problem when you haven't changed a tire in six months. You kind of hmm. forget. Yeah. All right. So now, pop this under. Hang on a minute. Hold up. Now you can see here the bead is not down in the channel. I can stick my finger under there. This has got to be down in the channel. That's better. That's what? better. This, this bead has to be down in the center channel of the rim. There's a ch center channel here. Okay. You can see here. Yeah? Move, yes. If this little channel here. Yeah? That, the reason that's there is so the bead of the tire can go in there to give you some slack on this side. Okay. So if this bead is not down in the channel. Way down? It's physically impossible to get the tire on because the hole in the tire is smaller than the rim. So you've got to get the bead down in there. So if you're having trouble, Usually, what it means is that it's not down in the bead. Do you need some help? I'm okay for now. And if it's going really tough, what it also means is... More lube. More lube. Yeah, but everybody, but 
Okay, we're good. Yeah, now we're right down in the channel. Shouldn't be this tough. This is a tough tire, man. We are down in the bead. Maybe we should put it on the opposite side, Riley. No, sometimes you gotta get more of the tire down in the bead. Uh-huh. So just use your knee. Would you need another one of the third hands? Oh, man, that's a tough one. Yes. Hopla. Oh. Kill it! Okay, take two. We'll never see take one. Because <laughs> I do the editing. <laughs> when I finish this, it'll look like we're experts that never have a problem. All right. Coffee. All right, Bill. Let's get this mother done. Sure, you don't want me to help instead of doing this? Well, let's, let me try it again here. Okay, so. Get as much of it on as we can. We're gonna put this baby on. Okay, but you see, it's not down in the beat yet. Lots of lube. Don't want too much lube on the handle though. Hmm. That can make it tough. You think it was really just that there wasn't enough lube? Yep, usually. This is not all the way down yet. There we go. Uh, that is a stiff one, man. Also, this tire is cold. Mm -hmm. It makes a big difference if you can have the tire sitting out in the sun. All right, let's try it. Whoa, it's on. More lube is all she needed. All right. That's it? Yeah. My hose is tangled. We still haven't put the valve stem in. Let's try. There's a rat here. Ready, Freddy? Yeah. Whoa! Nice. So, now we're gonna check that it's evenly seated all the way around. Make sure it's all seated all the way around, although usually when you hear the double pop like that, it's pretty good. Now we can put the valve stem back in. I like using these things. Which ones? You got a shot of that? Hang on, hang on. Wait, okay, Sharpie, good. See, it's a valve core tightener remover, and it's also a cap. So you always have one with you. When you're tightening this thing, there's no reason to tighten it crazy. It's got a little rubber gasket. Uh -huh. And then we're going to inflate this puppy. You throw me the gauge there. Gauge behind you. How much do you like to run? Well, I'll put it up to a good uh, 35, 38. Probably 35 is enough because it's still greasy. What do you think? Gotta go do some permits in the dirt. Do you have a sandbox in the backyard? I do. 
Do you think Tana would approve? 36 and a half. Good. And I will give you this special edition, Awesome Players Valcor <laughs> Removal Tool. C'est bon. C'est bon. Now we're going to balance this puppy. Oops. Okay, we got the tire on the Mark Parnes balancer. You shove the little cones into the bearings on both sides. And then you let the wheel balance out till you find the heaviest spot, obviously, which will be at the bottom. And we mark opposite on the top. And now that we've got the weights, it barely moves. And we're not going to get into cutting half weights. Some people do, but we're not. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to clean the old disc, be uh, clean off the disc because it probably has lube on it, and then we're going to mount this puppy back. Nice teeth. See that? Sweet. How's that bearing? Good. Good? Yeah. All right, let's pop it in. This was the bearing that I changed. Okay, that's in. Need your spacers yet? Huh? Not yet. God, it's your spacers. So you know which side you're doing? Hold on, let me get a shot of that. This goes in there. And then this one goes there. Ah, I see. Yeah, so... And then that one... This goes on the other side? This goes on the other side here. And you all have to maneuver this into position, which... Call this. I hate the wheel spacers! Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's... Now, hang on. Okay. Right. Colin. Colin. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. Washers are not in the right spot. Okay, lower it. Okay, wait. Okay, now this. Wait. Okay. Looks good here. Okay, hang on. Go. Go. How's this little block fit in? No, here? no, it's out. It's good. It's good. Yeah. How does this fit? Which way? Well, the block has to go the flat part like that, and then this goes like that. See? Good. We are golden. We didn't sir. put the chain on. <laughs> but it's on, it's nice. Any comments? Do you recommend putting the chain on the sprocket first? Or would you like to do it again? <laughs> A real Jedi. That is not going on, Bill. No? No. A real Jedi. Would commit suicide right now, that is not going on. Okay, let's not try <laughs> what cannot be done. <laughs> Don't forget to put the chain on first. Okay. <laughs> okay. More. More? Oh, hold on, stop. Okay. Come on, let's say salsa. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Oh, the fucker. Okay, try, try. try. See that? What's going on there? Uh, oh, fuck. Hold on, okay, okay. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, hang on. Okay, push it out. Push it. Like you mean it. You gotta pull the reel back more. It's just stuck on the adjuster here. Where? This, the little bolt. 
what's wrong. It's not in right. It is good. It's it isn't right. It's just we don't want that shit to pop off the side stand because it's not gonna pop off. What's wrong? Something's stuck. It cannot be stuck, dude. Okay. Okay. What about now? Nope. Needs to come back more. What do you mean? Like the block. It needs to go back like this way. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Golden. Give her. Yeah. Oh, we gotta turn it now. Oh. Turn, turn what? Uh, push it my way a bit. I gotta turn this. And. Uh, oh, and it's in? It's in. We are golden. Hey! Okay, hang on. And now uh, the washer. The magic nut. No. No cotter pin for no this V-Strong. No cotter pin, no. Okay, what's the torque setting? 90. 90? 90 foot-pounds. Foot yeah. 90 newton meters. Oh yeah, mine's 100. 90 newton meters. Yeah. Well, it's 100, a 90. Yeah, doesn't matter. Mine's 100 on newton meters on this. Yeah. I'm gonna be cursed out of the uh, V-Strong Brotherhood. It's 100! 90 Newton meters, or it's supposed to be 100. I don't know. It's either 90 or 100. What possible difference can it make? I don't know. <laughs> it's not my bike. Oops. Here we go. And what does it say? What did you do? <gasps> 95! It's good. A few closing thoughts. This was one of the first times we've actually used the tire changer, and since then we've gotten a lot faster. Uh, we've learned that you shouldn't really ever have to force that hard. Usually means the tire needs to be repositioned to get more of the bead down in the channel of the rim. Uh, if that uh, doesn't solve it, it's usually a case of having a little more lubrication. The balancer works well. Uh, check out markparns.com for more information on that. And you can always head over to Nomar's site and see some good videos there on how to use their equipment. Around Montreal, it's about $40 a tire to uh, mount a tire, so you don't have to do too many to make it worthwhile. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to, hit the like button, and feel free to ask us any questions.